Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Welcome back. I am showing you today my September paperclip. The theme that I have in my paperclip art group was for science fiction or just fiction. And I went with the kind of science and science fiction look to have these old kind of witchy looking chemistry beakers here with the, with the floating eyes in there. I just thought that was so fun. So what you're going to need are two two inch squares, black and turquoise, uh, one a circle. This is a one and a half inch circle with purple. I'm using Olo alcohol markers to color my images in. I looked all over at my stamps, didn't find anything I like. So I uh, purchased this digital download from an Etsy seller. Now they do come like one image each and I didn't want to print them that way. So I pulled mine into Silhouette Design Studio and condensed them and put them here. I also have some googly eyes and some purple organza ribbon. Uh, I'm going to give you under this video a link to my Olo marker video from Creativation last year. These are alcohol markers, but I want to see you to see what's different about these. But just off the cuff, really quick, it's two-sided. So you can see there's a, there's a joining piece in the middle so that you customize these yourself. Now what I have is one brush marker on each end and they are different colors. So take the cap off, you got one color brush marker here and another there because I personally don't use chisel. If you use chisel, you can have chisel on one and brush on other of the same color. But when you do it this way, you only have to have half as many markers. And this is free flow ink technology, which is different. Oh, one more thing is I'm using the half inch corner punch to round off these, just to give it a different look. Let's color, and I have these laid out here. Normally when I'm using alcohol markers, I will use three colors each time. I'm only using two each time now. So I'm going to use the light one here to color in the star. Although I can see I'm pretty much covering up one of those stars. And then I'm going to use the dark one to just kind of give it um, interest on the left side here. Now, if you need to, you can pull that back in with the light color, blend that out. Or if you really want, you can add a pinch of orange. Make sure you get the right colors lined up here and see Y2.3. And there you go. Now, I don't need that anymore. I'm going to use this green. Again, I'm going to do start with the light one and I'm going to color the entire thing in. This is like what I do for a rapid alcohol marker job. <laughs> if you have an alcohol marker job, this is what I do. So I've got this in here. I am going to just do the top of this liquid that way as well. Okay, now I'm gonna use the light one and just kind of pull some of that dark color into the light green and that's all I do. That is, like I said, the easiest way to use alcohol markers. You do have some difference going on here. And I forgot to do this, but what I did the first time, I didn't do it very darkly, but I'm using this light blue, which is B2, and I'm coloring this entire ridge and then outlining this bottle here because it looks like glass, but yet it just gives that little shade there. I'm not doing the bat one. There we go. And I figure that this is probably a cork. So for that, I have RG5 and RG3. I didn't mention these before. The yellow I use was Y2.2 and Y2.3. The green is YG2.3 and 2.5. So I just wanna give you those numbers. So for this, the cork RG3 and RG5. You know, there is a way of using your, for instance, your, your cameo or your, especially a your brother scan and cut that you can cut these out with your computer or with your cutter, but I am not doing that. I'm just fussy cutting. And for the orange, I am using O2.2 and O2.4. Okay, now all I do is I'm gonna fussy cut these 
off camera. Okay, those are cut out and we do want to start some gluing. So I am going to use the glue press today, the precision glue press. I'll give you a link down below to the video in which I review it and show you what I think about it. Now, because this is not, it's going to overlap. You're going to see that there's still some black there that's not going to be on the blue. So let's not do the entire black rectangle. Let's just do it like right there. Okay, and we're going to add the purple toward the top. And I'm going to just overlap these just a little. Now, if you are interested in paperclip art, you should check out Paperclip Art Group on Facebook. It's, it's a, a group that has full of inspiration. You are going to be amazed at what you see there. Okay, I have been testing out the Cubies from um, Barely Art. These are their new foam dots, foam squares or cubes that have been released and they showed it at Creativation this last year, uh, this year. And I showed that on also one of my Creativation videos. So I'm just kind of putting these on there. I like them because they are not as wide. I get more uh, skinny places are easy to get in there. So Paperclip Art Group, we do a theme every month just to give you something to inspire you. And then those who do participate in the theme are eligible to participate in a swap. It's not required. Mostly we're just there for inspiration. Also, if you are not subscribed, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the notifications so that you know what's going on on my channel. Okay, those are done. I'm going to kind of lay these right there. Oops, turn that around, Lolly. Okay, now I want to pick out some googly eyes and I want kind of a bigger one at the bottom, tiny ones at the top, like the big eye sinks to the bottom. Okay, there we go. And to pick those up, I'm going to use a gem picker. I think I could use the small one for these. I'm trying to push down. All you have to do is touch it, and I was trying to push down too hard. You could fill the whole beaker with those little eyes. That'd be very fun. Now for this, I'm just going to tie it in a knot instead of a bow. Oops. Sure I am. <laughs> sure I am. <laughs> Sometimes the simplest things are just really hard to, to do. Oh my gosh, Lolly. Okay, let's get this kind of trimmed. I don't care if it's really super straight because it could be wonky for all I know. It's Maybe it should be. Okay, now I am going to use the fabric tac uh, because this is fabric. Now fabric tac uh, is non-toxic when it cures. It takes about 20 minutes for it to really, really set up so that, you know, it's so that it's kind of in place but 24 hours for a good, solid, permanent cure. It'll be permanent in 24 hours and non-toxic in 24 hours. But I am going to just hold on to this for a second and then show you these. These are what I call paperclip blanks. There's this little white disc that snaps onto a two inch paperclip. And then you just glue it on the back and the back looks so nice and finished that way. Now, if you can't get those, I just glue a paper clip on there and then maybe a circle of cardstock over that and it works really well. So you just snap the single loop into there. You'll want to use something like Power Tack to get that permanent adhesive out there. Mine is getting really old. I need to replace that. And then all you do is just slide it under there Line it up and hold on to that just for a second. Now this also takes a little while to set up, but you're okay. You can just put that down. I was just making sure there's no loose glue that's going to glue itself to my work surface here. So aren't those fun? Those are your cute little paper clips. Really pretty quick. The longest it took really was just coloring those in because I had already printed those instead of stamping them. Very easy to put together, very cute, just a little spooky, but not really too spooky. So if you're not even into Halloween crafts, these might even be something you can do. Children would love these. 
great for your books, even for recipe books. So fun. Thank you for watching and give this video a thumbs up. Check all the links underneath this video.